zero downtime deployment and rollbacks in v2 deploy hi i'm said and today i'm going to show you how you can deploy a laravel application and enable zero downtime deployment and also do some rollbacks so let's just get started i already have my server ready in this ip address and i also pointed my domain that i'm going to test to this ip address which is laravel.v2deploy.com so you already see the nginx default page which will go in we are going to deploy the website so let's go to the sites create a website site type laravel and the domain and then php version and then source control web directory is public and then repository laravel so i have worked the default laravel project into this address and i will be using the branch 12x i also want to run composer install so let's create the site As you can see, the logs are appearing here. Step by step, Rito is installing your site. And now Composer install, which is the last step. So the website is ready. So if I open the site, I will be seeing some errors because there is no environment variable set. You can set the environment variables here, right? But right now I don't have them, so I will create a command to copy the envir example environment and set the app key, and then we will pick it up from there. So let's go to the commands, create a new command. You can even run this on the console or SSH to the server and run it there. Or you can even implement it in your deployment script and just deploy it so I will go in this way so cp.env.example 2.env and key generate so now let's run this command All right, the command is completed. If I open the website again, now I see the database error. So this one uses SQLite, but I will be using MySQL here. So I already have the database installed. Let's just create a database and database user, link them to each other, and then continue. So let's call it Laravel. I will go with UTF-8 and then go with Unicode and then I will create a user user and password so let's create all right the database and database user are ready so now let's go back to the application and update the environment variable so i'm going to set the app url and then i'm going to set the database so let's change this to mysql and then laravel then user is laravel underline user and then password is password so everything is ready to go all right saving it and then let's check the deployment script so 
we want to run a deployment to complete our setup and in this case we'll be running uh, we'll be pulling the latest changes and then composer install and then artisan migrate and some optimizations and then uh, front-end libraries so let's just run it we can see the output here as you can see composer done migrations done optimization done and now probably running the npm commands they're also done so we're good to now open the website and you will see everything is working so now let's enable the modern deployment to have the zero downtime deployment and rollbacks in our application right now you see the active version is active release is the last one so if i deploy this again it will just run the deployment script inside the application on the server and then if um, your application was buggy or something like that that you want to go back kind of there is no back unless you revert the changes and do another deployment right so now we are going to enable the modern deployment and the modern deployment please first read the documentation and uh, there are two fields that you need to fill before enabling it one shared resources and then deployment deployments to keep to keep so shared resources are uh, stuff like that env storage folder or any subdirectory of the storage uh, that you want to share across all the releases without copying them from one release to another release so i will go with the default ones that env and storage and then i will keep uh, only 10 so this means that vito will keep the latest 10 deployments the latest 10 releases on the server in case you want to switch the active release between them you can change this uh, depending on the storage you have and the logic you have you, you can change this and vito will delete the older ones uh, if it reaches to this amount so let's just enable it all right so everything is ready to go if i open the website so because the uh, contents of the uh, application has changed from the uh, slash home veto and the domain to uh, slash home veto the domain and then slash contents we might need to run another migrate another deployment to uh, basically clear the cache clear the configurations because it is kind of hard-coded in the previous time we deployed and cache the results so let's just prepare the next deployment and run it and we will see the result so we go back to the application and then you will see two deployments so if you hit the deploy it will first alarm you that you don't have these scripts ready so we want to go if you deploy basically there will be nothing deployed so let's just fail but what are the build script and pre-flight scripts build script is the script will be run after cloning your repository into a new release directory so in the build script there is no uh, there is no uh, environment variables or shared directories exist so you can put stuff like composer install or maybe even npm install if your npm install is not depending on the um, env or storage file for example or any other shared resources so what i will do here i will run a uh, composer install in this script let's say dash dash no dev 
and then npm install this is all for me and this uh, build script now let's update the pre-flight script in the pre-flight script you need to enter the scripts that will be executed after Rito has linked the shared resources to the new directory to the new release directory so you can run uh, things like um, npm run build if uh, npm build is relying on the environment variables if not you can even take this out and put it on the build script and then php artisan migrate source and then um, php artisan optimize clear and then optimize itself i also want to restart the workers after pre-flight is executed so after pre-flight is done Rito will switch the releases so let's save it and run the deployment so as you can see Vito has created a new release and deploying this one right now the website is available in the previous release which was the problematic one now it's deploying the new release after this is done it will use the new release you can see the output as well running npm build and it's already done so let's open the website and everything is up and running so now let's try out the rollbacks so I want to introduce for example a bug in the application so I would just let's just open the code and I will just go to the home page and I will delete everything and say this is a bug so let's just push this so now that we pushed it we are going to deploy so start deployment as you can see the bug commit is being deployed and this is the new release the old release will still be available until the new release is completed and switched so this is how the zero downtime works so as you can see it is still running the scripts should be done in a second and it's done so if i open this you will see the buggy release is there so i just noticed this there is a bug and i'm going to roll it back so I go and select the previous release or any other previous releases and click the rollback and rollback. So the rollback is just changing the symlinks. It should be done pretty much fast and the previous website is back. And now we can uh, again bring everything back. So you worked on the fix and then uh, And then you want to deploy it so this is good so let's now deploy again and now you can see again the actual release is up there after it will finish all the scripts and your application is ready to be deployed to be switched to the uh, active version you will see it will switch immediately so let's wait for the logs and should be done already and 
there you go. And you can easily switch between the releases every time you want. And it should be done really fast, as you can see. Yep, that was it. Uh, this was the zero downtime deployment and rollbacks in Rita Deploy. See you in the next video.